Hello everyone. Good morning. Um, I haven't vlogged in so long, so I'm gonna be looking at the viewfinder and you're just gonna have to deal with it, but I have my coffee. Um, okay, so I filmed some clips on my phone this morning. I've been up since like 7.30 because I took my little brother to school. Um, and then I was just rotting on the couch for the past like literally like two hours. So it's 9.45 and I decided that I should probably get the day started. So we're gonna do that. I have my little coffee here. Um, my room's kind of a mess, but don't mind that. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk because I haven't spoken since I dropped off my brother two hours ago. And I don't know, I just watching some YouTube videos and like getting motivated to like vlog again because I honestly really miss vlogging. And like during my gap year, before I go back to school, I really want to like get in my influencer era. And just my vlogging era because I don't know, I just really like doing it. And I just love watching other people's vlogs. And I'm like, Savannah, you have the tools to do it, just do it. So we're going to start doing that. But yeah, I'm about to get dressed, I guess. I don't even know what I want to do. My nightstand is such a mess. This is like embarrassing, but she's she's giving us realness, okay? I got one of these matching sets from Target, guys. It's like this and like pants. I feel like such an old lady, but I love it. And I don't know what's going on with my hair. We're not going to talk about it, but... I think I'm just gonna get dressed really quick. So my dilemma now is that I wanna film like a get ready with me talking, but like there's nowhere in my bathroom that I can set my tripod up. Okay, I'm gonna be so real. I hate my bathroom actually. The lighting is just disgusting. The mirror is right here, so I'm gonna be like putting my um, contacts on and stuff. So I guess, yeah, okay, whatever. But anyways, um, I tried to film like a week ago and I just like couldn't do it for whatever reason. I don't know, I was just feeling very unmotivated and uninspired. Postgrad is just like really weird when you did a degree that like you can't just like hop right into the field you want to work in yet, if that makes any sense. Like if I was like a business major or something like that, like I feel like I could just be like working. Um, but like having to get your masters and like still having more school to do is kinda like just like a really weird thing. I don't know. And like I have friends who are in like med school. I have friends who are like more on the business sides of things. I have friends who like move to different cities and stuff like that. And it's just like, I'm really bad at comparing myself to other people. So it's like, I graduated and moved back home and I'm working a bunch of jobs just to make money to pay these bills. And it's like, other people are getting brand new apartments and brand new jobs and living in these fun cities. And it's like a lot, which is like, I know everybody's journey's different, but it's just like a really weird feeling. I don't know how to feel about it. Definitely been like taking I'm using the Tower 28 spray. It's actually really good. I just got it from Sephora. Um, so it's been like a really interesting transition period this summer. Um, and literally all I've been doing is working. I took like a couple day trips to the beach. But like other than that, like everybody I graduated with went to like Europe and all of these cool places. And I just did not. So that's really cool. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so a big theme of this summer for me has just been like changing my mindset and like getting stuff prepared for grad school and just like potentially like job hunting. I don't know. The thing is like with a psychology bachelor's degree, like there's only a couple of kinds of jobs you really can get with that in like the mental health field. And I'm not really interested in doing any of those. But I know that when I go to like school to become a therapist, like having a job like that would be useful for like getting into grad school and stuff so I don't know it's just like a really weird I'm just in a really weird transition period so you know may as well just vlog it because I also feel like I don't really see people like with my similar I'm using the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum I feel like people like talk about post-grad but like not in the same position that I'm in because I don't know like all my friends like like, nobody's doing, like, therapy, like, in the same way that I'm doing it. Like, I have a couple friends doing, like, speech therapy and stuff, but, um, like, nobody's doing the same thing that I'm doing, so it's, like, hard for me to kind of find somebody to relate to who can, like, guide me through this, like, weird post-grad process. I don't even know what I'm saying, if this is making any sense, but anyways. I wanted to interject really quick because I'm sounding very ungrateful. Um, I'm really proud of myself for having my degree and, like, Having a bachelor's degree is like not something that everybody can say and I'm really proud and really thankful and really blessed that I have that opportunity. I just wanted to throw that in here because I'm doing a lot of complaining about the uncertainty of the limbo stage I'm in right now before grad school, but I'm very, very thankful and very proud of myself. I do want to just interject that. <laughs> I'm going to do the most bare minimum makeup ever. I'm just going to literally 
do brow gel, inner corner highlight, mascara, call it a day. Because I just really don't want to put stuff on my face that I don't have to. Okay, so I'm vlogging a little bit on my phone because my camera is charging. Um, so I just tried on a bunch of my jean shorts. These ones I'm keeping. I have a bin of all the ones that I'm going to throw away. So they're all in here. I have some shorts in here. I have a bin upstairs of all of my stuff from school um, because the place I'm going to donate them to is asking for shorts, men's jackets, and like shoes and something else. So I'm trying to like find stuff that I have on that list that I could like donate. So yeah, I but I've been needing to go through those shorts for literally so long. I've had them for so long. I'm like holding on to them and I don't wear them. Okay, sorry the lighting is so bad, but I'm just wearing my little Lulu. I think this is the Ebb to Street tank. I'm wearing these shorts from Aerie, which are like a, they're like a dupe for like the Lululemon ones, the Fast and Free ones, I think. And then I'm probably just gonna wear my Hoka's with this. For my perfume, I'm probably just gonna use Sol de Janeiro 68 because guys, I bought this for the first time over spring break and this is my second bottle of it. I bought the first one in March. I try not to use it up because I love it so much, but then at the same time, it's like, I wanna use it every day because it smells so good. And I get so many compliments at work and like everywhere that I smell good. And I love, it's like one of my favorite compliments. Um, I love it. But yeah, we're gonna go to Plato's Closet, drop off these clothes, see how much money I can get. And then I might Instacart a little bit just because I usually babysit in the mornings on Wednesdays. So like trying to make up for that lost money somehow. So yeah. All right, so I just loaded everything in the car. I have my big bin right here of clothes. I'm gonna drive to Marshall's, probably listen to Olivia Rodrigo's new album because it's so good. If you guys didn't know, I'm the biggest Olivia Rodrigo fan. I loved her first album. I saw her in concert. Like, that's my girl right there. So I'm gonna listen to that. I brought this little, why did I drop it? I brought this little cliff bar to eat on my way there. I have my water. And yeah, we're just gonna go to drop my clothes off and hopefully they give me money and want my clothes, so. hoping to give me some good money for my clothes and hopefully nobody I know is driving by because this would be embarrassing okay so I've decided to go to Marshall's They gave me $28.36 and they took seven items. So I'm really not mad at it guys because this stuff was literally sitting in my room anyways. And at least it'll go to somebody who's actually gonna use it. Um, which is funny because like I brought in a pair of like Levi jeans, garage shorts, like they didn't take them, but they took like my Target stuff, which I think is so random the way that they go about taking things. I don't know, but I'm gonna go home because I was gonna Instacart, but I literally left like my card at home. And like not every store that does Instacart does like the Apple Pay thing. So I kind of fumbled my own bag there, but it's okay. Cause I kind of want to go home anyways, so. Okay, so just kidding. I'm actually at Panera right now because you know, I just made money, girl math. Um, and I really want like a salad and a really good sandwich. But like every time we buy salad ingredients at home, they go bad in like 0 0.2 seconds. So we're gonna get a little salad and some sandwich or soup or something i don't know all right guys so got up and now for me and my sister also they're green tea i don't even like tea like that like honestly i'm way more of a coffee person but their tea is so good i love it okay mm -hmm. so from panera i got the chicken fontego sandwich i got the southwest caesar salad and then i got bread and i got their um tea so i'm so excited to eat this and probably watch some youtube dun, dun, dun. hello stormy here you go okay so we're back downstairs um this is what my bed looks like so i'm going to just clean off my bed really quick and then do some more organizing in my room i have about probably three two hours until i have to go babysit so i'm just gonna kind of tidy up my room a little bit light a candle listen to some music
Also, wait guys, I wanted to show you because, so you know how I said I went to Plato's Closet on Monday to return off, return off, to return a bunch of stuff? Well, I did go to Marshall's and I did buy things on Monday, so I will show you guys what I got. Um, first thing I got is this super cute, oversized, chunky sweater vest. Guys, there's so much potential with this. Like, you could dress it down with like flare pants, you could dress it up with like jeans, slacks. Like, I can make this a, like a little girl boss working outfit. Cause like I think when I'm in grad school I'm gonna have to go out and like do like clinicals and like shadowing and like hospitals and stuff um, for like psychology. So I'm like I gotta start building up a little professional clothing attire like wardrobe. So that's what I thought for this and also it's like so fall and it's like perfect for like now this time of year where it's like the transition between summer and fall and like you can get away with wearing this on if it's like hot outside you know and like with a skirt, tights, boots like it's giving. I found this pair of Abercrombie jeans um, for literally $25. And they're super cute, like medium wash, and they're a little flare at the bottom. I'm obsessed with them, they're so cute. I have always worn like American Eagle jeans. Well, actually, no, that's the false. I always wore like jeans from Kohl's and like Walmart and like Target growing up. And once I started making my own money and could afford to buy the clothes that I actually wanted to buy, I started getting like American Eagle and stuff like that. And I feel like American Eagle jeans used to be really good, but I feel like now, like they're just not real denim material. I don't know what it is about them. So I've been kind of slowly transitioning away from American Eagle jeans because they're always really good when I first buy them. And then like a couple months later, they're like too big on me. So I don't know. It's like weird. I don't know if it's like material or what, but I'm trying to find my new like go-to jean brand. And my sister and I went to Rehoboth Beach like two weeks ago and they have a Abercrombie outlet there. So we got a, I got a pair of jeans. Sorry, I'm like glitching. I got a pair of jeans from there for a really good deal. And I just love the way they fit me. Like their jeans fit me like a glove. So I'm trying to kind of revamp my whole denim collection with shorts and pants, which is why earlier I donated a bunch of shorts and some jeans. So I just gave you a really long spiel when you guys really didn't ask, but it's okay. Okay guys, so my camera's like building down. I just threw on this little jacket from Garage, it's like a little crop jacket moment because I'm getting ready to go babysit. I'm gonna be babysitting from like 3.30 until 6 and then my little sister Nadia has her volleyball game. She's a senior and now that I'm home from school this year, I'll actually be able to go to more of her games. Okay, so I pulled over to the side of the road because I'm like really early to babysit, but I wanted to do my first sip on camera so I tried the Nutty Pumpkin coffee they have at Dunkin' and I actually really like it, but I was kind of in the mood for something else. This is what I've been getting all summer. So I get a cold brew with two pumps of butter pecan, two pumps of blueberry, and then two shots of cream because I don't really need like the extra sugar per se. And like the blueberry shot is sugar free. So like it's not like super sugary crazy. Like I'm not a super sugary person. Like when it comes to coffee, I actually like to taste my coffee. Um, and normally I would just do like two pumps of caramel but i don't know i've been really into the uh, butter pecan which is funny because i actually am allergic to tree nuts i have like a tree nut allergy but typically with like places like duncan and starbucks they're like nutty flavors are like artificial so if you have a tree nut allergy too you can drink tree nut flavored things because it's not really real you know what i mean so yeah, guys, also i'm obsessed i painted my nails it's in the shade wicked by essie it's like the perfect fall color i'm like obsessed with them but i need to redo them because i've had these on okay actually this is two different colors this is the se color this is another one um that i was trying out but i like the se one better because it's a little more deep and like opaque so but yeah i'm just gonna stay here for like three more minutes because the kids always run out of the house when they see me which is very cute but i like get scared because i like run into the road and i just like get worried but yeah anyways No, because it feels so weird being back in my old high school. I haven't been back here in a hot minute. All right, I love my sister's volleyball game and now I'm Instacarting just for some extra cash. So, my food line. Okay, so here is their order. They got like three cases of Coke and this bag and I'm gonna drop it off at the front porch which I'm scared because like I don't know this neighborhood but it's fine we're gonna do that on the way back so my mom slays and got us Denny's for dinner 